This week I was in Stratford-upon-Avon seeing The Hypocrite by Richard Bean at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. The Hypocrite is a co-production between the Royal Shakespeare Company and Hull Truck as part of Hull's tenure as the UK City of Culture during 2017. It did a run at Hull Truck before heading down to Stratford, the RST, where I saw it last weekend. The show takes place as the stage is being set for the English Revolution, or the Second English Civil War if you prefer your history from a more conservative angle. Charles I has already stormed into Parliament and war is looking almost inevitable, but hasn't actually started quite yet. Sir John Hoffman is the premier nobleman of the North East and his time for deciding whether to stand for Parliament or for the Royalists is slowly running out. Any idea that this decision might be made based on deep political or moral beliefs, however, is soon cast aside. Sir John will make his decision only on what will best serve him after the dust settles of this conflict. He is keen to ensure that once the civil war is over that his position is maintained. I know I made a point a few weeks ago about saying that I was very keen within these videos to do in-depth academic analyses rather than any kind of thumbs up thumbs down reviews but I wanted to say that I very much enjoyed this play. I don't know how to phrase that opinion in a kind of objective sounding academic way but I very much enjoyed it. It had pace, it had variance, and though beneath the surface there was a lot to interrogate, which I'll go on to discuss, on the surface it was a very much enjoyable, fun watch. This is the first of Richard Bean's plays that I've seen live, and yet I think he has this brilliant ability to combine comedy and politics together. Many playwrights claim to be influenced by the work and theorising of Bertolt Brecht, but what most of them take away from that is the fact that theatre should engage with the political contexts of its time. But Brecht was also adamant that theatre should be enjoyable to the senses at that, a principle admittedly by which morality can only gain. The hypocrite employs elements of pantomime and massive doses of farce, which ensure that before any deep political allusions to the present from the past are made, the audience are engaged and having a good time. There are certainly moments where the farcical seems a little bit overly drawn out and potentially takes away from the more kind of political aspects of it as well, but on the whole it feels quite well balanced. There are also a number of knowing nods and riffs off of Shakespeare's work, which was both contemporary at the time that the play is set, as well as being the Royal Shakespeare Company's more standard fare. And so this felt like a kind of quite healthy, self-depreciating current running through the piece. Overall, however, I was very much on the fence about this. On the one hand, it seems to be very much an attack on what Bordeaux describes as legitimate culture, this idea of a farce taking the mick out of something which is deemed to be high culture, which felt very healthy. On the other hand, however, these jokes did require the tiniest bit of knowledge of the works of Shakespeare, and therefore there's the potential that one needed a certain amount of cultural capital already to engage with that humour. Which brings us on to issues of class, which I felt sat very heavily beneath the surface of the hypocrite. It's brought up as a joke many a time. Any intelligent decision made by Sir John is usually more than a little reliant upon the counsel of the family's servant, Connie. The live band, who appear every now and then to add to the piece through song are very much representative of the levellers and diggers, the ideas of whom were very much picking up currency among the proletariat of the time. Both Connie and the band, however, are more often than not ignored by the main cast. But there is a clear discourse here that feudalism is a system by which people are appointed to social roles by being born into them rather than earning them. But I also read here a certain critique that the bourgeois democratic systems which the English Revolution gave birth birth to failed to completely address this issue. Just as the working class characters on stage go largely ignored, such democratic systems, whether brought about through revolution or reform, largely served to improve the social 
standing of the middle classes rather than the material needs of the working classes. The Enclosure Act, for example, which led to much of England's land which had previously been held in common being divided up for private ownership, gets a lot of mention by the onstage ban, but it gets no mention from the play's protagonists. On the whole, I thought this was a very multi-layered piece of theatre, a surface level of comedy giving way to a much more in-depth political exploration of the English Revolution and some of its failures which we can still see in today's society. The Hypocrite has a very healthy, self-depreciating tone, and in a time where views towards how we might best govern our society can often feel divided and in many ways divisive, it embraced the silly and the ridiculous and the downright incomprehensible. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to have a little bit more about my actual trip up to Stratford uh, later in the week. If you have enjoyed, then please do let me know down below uh, or feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.